Hello, Teacher Ray here. I'm back to answer another of your Howl Groove Class teaching questions. Yay! <laughs> One of the best things about our Howl GC lessons are the interactive activities. <gasps> Those interactive activities are beneficial for both student learning and student engagement. Mm -hmm. But what happens if our students don't understand how to interact with those activities? Mm. That's the subject of this episode. Here's the question. How do you give instructions on how to manipulate the GC lesson activities if the students cannot understand English. Even when you type it in the chat box, some students still can't understand. And that can waste class time. Well, sometimes words, whether spoken or written, are not necessarily the best method of giving instructions. Some things need to be seen to be understood. One quick method of giving instructions for the interactive activities is to use gestures accompanied by simple verbal instructions. Circle. Circle. Here's an example from one of my lessons. Whoa! How many dogs and cats are hey, in the there. picture? Mm -hmm. Ooh, look. Mm -hmm. Look. Circle. Look, circle, dog, cat. Cat, circle, dog, cat. Click, click. Again, here's an example from one of my lessons. Click, mm -hmm. go. Another method is to demonstrate how an activity works by interacting with it yourself, like this dragging activity. <laughs> Now you drag, you drag, go, drag, drag, morning, night. Oh my. Images can also be helpful, like these images of the student pen, submit, and hand raise icons. Oh, I've added these to my shared Google Drive folder, which you can find below. Or how about going high tech? Hmm? You know how we can preview the lesson material in my page? Well, did you know that those materials are interactive? Well, how about using a handheld digital device to show your students exactly how an activity works? Hmm. Duck. Duck. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, to conserve time during class, have the My Page lesson material already open and and gone to you know the page you want, because you know that My Page times out and it can take a while to find the exact activity that you that you want to demonstrate. And now it's time for a wrap up. <laughs> to summarize, it is often faster and more effective to provide instructions with less words and more action.
actions, or rather gestures and demonstrations. As Howell GC teachers, we all struggle from time to time with successfully communicating instructions to our students. So I want to thank this teacher for submitting this question about how to give instructions for the lesson activities. Mm -hmm. Click on the survey link below this video to submit your question to Ask Teacher Ray. Yay! <laughs> See you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.